Hello and welcome if you're new to my channel and if you're a subscriber, a warm welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be talking you through a number of luxury items that I think are worth investing in in your 20s. Your 20s are typically a time where um, you don't have as many responsibilities as you typically get the older you become. You're carefree. It's time to have a lot of fun. But there are a number of luxury items that I think are worth investing in and they'll set you up well for life. I'm Anesu Sagonda and I produce educational luxury content for anyone after the finer things. So whether you're young and starting out in life and wanting to reap the benefits of buying quality from the get-go, or you're into luxury but you want to focus more on the brands that operate very much under the radar and packing a mighty quality punch, or you're new to money and wanting to learn how to navigate the terrain, then my content is very much geared towards you. Over the last few months, I've seen a steady increase in viewers and subscribers on my channel aged between 18 to 34 years of age. And I'm also getting increasingly more direct messages asking for my thoughts, recommendations on purchases they're making, typically around homeware. So that was the motivating factor for this video, coupled with the fact that um, from as early as I can remember, my grandmother instilled in me the importance of buying quality when it comes to everything. She would say either wait for something better quality or save and buy uh, something better quality than what you can afford now because it'll set you up for life. And it's only now when I look back uh, on my 20s and I think, wow, I made some really good decisions. So my... Uh, recommendations my thoughts are purely personal to me as opposed to this is something that everybody does but I'm speaking purely from my own experience and some of the things that have worked uh, I have split my recommendations into five products and services fashion beauty health uh, my favorite homeware and services I'm going to kick off with fashion but I don't have a particular style or type of fashion I'm going to recommend um, in your 20s, you are typically fresh out of school, university, you've just started working, you don't have a lot of disposable income. And also, you don't really know your style as such. You're experimenting, you're trying things, what really works with your body shape, your body size, for example. There's a lot of fast fashion in your 20s, and it's typically your trendy clothes that are quick, they're cheap, they're disposable. If you're somebody who is ethically, environmentally focused, and of course, there's a growing number of your sustainable brands. But there are three items that are really important in your 20s. The first is a solid interview outfit from head to toe. First impression is absolutely important. You only get one chance and you need to make it well. A smart interview outfit is something you can also wear to um, a formal uh, occasion can buy stuff on sale on promotion you have a lot of brands that offer incredibly generous student discounts second recommendation is a really solid coat and pair of shoes that will last more than a season so no fast fashion um, there's nothing worse than having a coat that's not warm you're somewhere that's cold it's wet you're miserable it's soul destroying get a very good coat it's well made it's comfortable it's warm and it's waterproof a solid pair of shoes depends entirely on your lifestyle, whether it's boots that work for you, brogues, loafers, whatever it may be. A good pair that's solid, they're well made, they're robust, and they're comfortable. Third recommendation is throw away the university, the college, the school rucksack. Get a work bag. You want to look the part, you want to look professional. I'm going to attach above um, a recent video, Elegant uh, Work Bags for All Budgets, there are a number of really good, solid, budget-friendly brands for your students. Again, depends on your disposable income, but brands such as Kate Spade, you have Coach, you have Michael Kors, for example. Loads of variety, good quality leathers. My next group of products is within the beauty space. And apart from getting into a really good routine that involves never sleeping with makeup, is investing in an electric toothbrush, something I did um, two months ago. Up until then, I manually brushed my teeth my entire life. And two months ago, I uh, upgraded to an electric toothbrush and it has been game-changing. 
I'm 44 and I don't have any fillings. And I remember a few years ago, my dentist being incredibly complimentary. And he said, I wish I could bottle your teeth and show them to other patients because this is what teeth look like when you have brushed them consistently and used good techniques. And so I always thought, oh, this electric toothbrush is such a gimmick. But as I mentioned earlier, I upgraded to one a couple of months ago and it's been game changing. Um, the way it cleans my teeth, the way my teeth feel, and even now when I do use a manual toothbrush, they just don't feel as good anymore. Getting into a really good uh, dental regime from your 20s is important to maintain a very good oral hygiene. It minimizes the chances of your bleeding gums, of any infections, of teeth falling out, receding gums and so forth. All the typical issues that occur, you minimize the chances of that. And it's been luck and it's also been consistency and knowing how to brush my teeth that I've made it to 44 without any fillings. My next group of products is within the health space. Firstly, from your 20s, eat well, eat healthily, eat food that is whole, minimal processing, less of your junk food, your fast food, your heavily processed food, and food that is freshly prepared. So it's good quality, it's healthy food, it's freshly prepared. And then throw into that equation as well, a healthy lifestyle. And by that I mean exercising, whether it's going to the gym three to four times a week for at least 30 minutes at a time, um, if you don't enjoy the gym, an exercise group you like, if you like dancing, Zumba or any dance group, playing hockey, running, tennis, badminton, whatever it is you enjoy that keeps you active, doing that for at least 30 minutes, four times a week. Get into that routine in your 20s, eating well, exercising and progress through, make it a priority because it makes aging a lot easier. And you'll reap the benefits in years to come when you hit your 70s your 80s if you're lucky enough to make it out there aging is a lot easier your body your joints um, the mobility is a lot more improved it's better than if you didn't exercise or eat well uh, from the get-go my next group a little more sensible a little more mature is your services and focusing specifically on savings as soon as you start working i can't recommend saving part of your pension, saving for a rainy day, just putting away a little bit of money, a little bit at a time, it adds up over the years, 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever number of years it is that it work, that you work, save a little bit at a time and let it accumulate. And as you earn more money, uh, save using different schemes, different um, mechanisms, diversifying your range of uh, investments. And also within your services, travel and experiences. I cannot recommend them highly enough, especially in your 20s. With travel, you uh, typically have less responsibilities. You don't have as much going on in your 20s. Travel, see the world, experience different cultures. Travel opens your mind. It exposes you to so much um, more experiences, whether it is uh, locally at home, a dance group, attending a course, flower arranging, uh, camping, whatever it is with friends, with family, on your own. Experiences are fun, they enrich their mind, you learn from them. And then my final uh, group of products is one that I get the most requests from. And my favorite, I like homeware. And I remember when I was just about to graduate my last year of university i um, had a sandwich year course and i worked and i remember in that time whenever i had a spare five ten twenty pounds i always bought some homeware item i always recommend start small you don't have to if you don't have a big budget buy everything in one go but buy a little bit at a time i started buying cutlery um a little bit at a time i would buy a knife a fork and a spoon and then the next time i had some, some spare cash i'd do the same same with towels with linen mid-tier brands yeah for example uh, john lewis in the united kingdom you have marks and spencer you have woolworths in south africa you have in the united states crate and barrel for example mid-tier brands there are a number of them globally but mid-tier brands where the quality of the goods uh, they sell are fantastic you will get a solid number of years if you um, buy the products and look after them start with homeware uh, buy good pots 
good pans, um, buy good knives as well. I remember I started with my first um, knives. I had three Sabatier knives. At the time, they were about 20 pounds. I thought it was a lot of money. But over the years, I got to appreciate the benefits of buying good quality knives. If you're some, depending on your lifestyle, um, also buy your household gadgets. Think, for example, your blenders, a coffee machine. You save a lot of money when you buy a coffee machine. You're able to make coffee at home and then you buy good quality coffee beans and enjoy the coffee as opposed to spending three, four, five pounds on the go. And it might not be the best quality coffee and you can easily make better quality coffee at home at a fraction of the price. Um, I also bought uh, a blender. I remember buying a food processor, a number of other gadgets, uh, a pressure cooker, because that all worked with my lifestyle. But whatever works with your lifestyle, invest in your core household items. It also means cooking is pleasurable. You entertain at home. You enjoy it. It's fun. You have pots that are enjoyable to cook in. You cook more and it helps with your lifestyle, as I mentioned earlier freshly prepared food, using healthy um, food. And also buying, for example, your bigger gadgets, a vacuum cleaner. A good vacuum cleaner makes cleaning a lot more enjoyable. You do it. Um, it isn't something you keep putting off because the vacuum cleaner is good. You just whiz around the, your, your apartment, wherever you live, and it's done very quickly. Another good investment is a laptop, very much a sign of our current times. Um, also invest in uh, a good hardware drive to save all the, the, the information on your laptop, very much gadgets that are a sign of our time. Final item within the homeware space I've spoken about recently is a bed. Buy a good quality bed, especially when you're young, the best quality you can afford, the mattress and also linen. As I mentioned, you've got mid-tier brands where you can go and buy good linen at a fraction of the price of some of the linen I've spoken about, but it's still good quality, you enjoy sleeping in your bed sleep is crucial it is the cornerstone of your life it impacts absolutely every part of your life if you don't sleep well it's difficult to concentrate to remember things to even perform the most basic functions if you haven't slept well i've given you a selection of products that i highly recommend considering and investing in in your 20s they'll set you up well they are products that are core to your life and most people will use regardless of their lifestyles any other questions let me know as always in the comments down below and of course do share this video like it if you learned something new and of course subscribe so you don't miss out on future content